guys, Master Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and so we are jumping back into the GT Legendary Goku event to smash out another one of the missions here. I decided to go for Corroded Body and Mind, because obviously this one I know uh, people are going to be finding a little bit difficult. Um, I know if you don't have Janemba, uh, it's going to be a little bit more of an issue than if you do. So I think what I'll probably do is we'll do this initial run, and then at some point I might do a video where I try and build a team where obviously you don't have uh, the tech Janemba and we'll see how that goes. But for now, obviously I just want to get all the missions done. So I am using the tech Janemba. I've brought a 79% tech Janemba friend. Uh, those of you who, who've been there along the way for the extreme techno items like Saga with the multiple streams that we did will know that my tech Janemba is only 55%. Um, so obviously he's not crazy good. Uh, it'll be interesting to see when we get later on into the event like how much of a liability he ends up being because obviously we are going to try and get the uh, orb requirements for him as much as we can. But uh, Right, so in Goku Black I decided to bring him because as much as he's kind of a meme unit now, he... Uh, We'll get three orbs for you. Uh, he does infinitely stack defense. If we do this and then get the four type orbs with Janemba, then that gives everybody the ability to super attack. I actually, I probably should have put Int Goku Black in slot one because Vegeta's actually going to finish him off here, I think. Because we do want Int Goku Black to super attack as many times as possible to stack his defense. Because he infinitely stacks. He doesn't stack attack. So the problem is... By the time we get to the event, we uh, the end of the event, we are going to be able to see him have transformed into Rosé. But obviously his damage is not going to be crazy. But of course I underestimate uh, how much HP this guy has even in the first phase. So fortunately Goku Black was able to get a super attack in. And then we uh, finish him off with Janemba. So I need to float off the Mars Saiyan here because I'm going to have Mars Saiyan on rotation with... Um... How do I want to do this? I guess we'll probably try and make sure we super attack with you. And then can we get the four orbs for the other Janemba? We cannot. So I guess we'll just do... We'll get the two rainbow orbs. Because as long as we get two rainbow orbs, then obviously the... Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, Janemba really... Uh... It's my biggest problem with tech Janemba. He hurts the team so much by not having any key links. And obviously the idea is you want to try and make up for that by picking up the four type orbs because then he's giving everybody two key and a little bit of extra attack and defense. But if you get into a situation like that where you can't get the four type orbs, it can really hurt the rotation. And obviously Marseillean, my boy, he's going to be an MVP in this event because post Easy A, he obviously now infinitely stacks attack and defense. So we're going to be able to get to a point a little bit further into the event where he is actually going to start hitting rather hard so go ahead and do this see i would keep the tech vegeta on rotation my original idea for the team build was to have tech vegeta on rotation with the marseillean but unfortunately once we get to a point where he transforms into Marsha vegeta his main key link becomes over in a flash and not prepared for battle and then it's become going to become a lot more difficult to super attack with him um, we might try it out, obviously once we get to, depending on the typing of the stages, we can always play around with the locations of our units, but we will see uh, how it goes from here. Int Goku Black is obviously going to be probably the worst looking unit on the team. He is rainbow for me, I've never touched him in terms of link leveling, so I think he's literally full level 1 links across the board, but we'll see how he holds up. Wow, 50k in Metal Cooler takes this early on in the event, so... We definitely need to be careful when we get to the um, <clears throat> the physical Super Saiyan 3 stage because then we really will start to take some damage. So, is there any way I can get four type orbs here? See, again, look at Janemba just messing everything up here. Uh, so, if I do this... Okay, I thought the physicals would drop down. But, what I can do is do this. That only gives him... That leaves him one key short. Ah, Janemba! Why are you like this? Alright, so this Janemba's not going to be able to get his super, but at least that drops the type orbs down so that Janemba in slot 1 can get his super attack. 3.4 million. I decided to bring the STR one over the Int one just because there are quite a few physical phases. So here you see, I wanted to be able to do some good damage in the physical stages. And realistically, their easy A's, they're both quite similar. Um, I think you could argue that the... 
I think it's the way I believe that it breaks down is as long as the int one gets hit first, he can deal more damage than the STR one. But the problem is that obviously makes him somewhat inconsistent because if you don't get hit first, then obviously you're not going to be doing that. So you do need to be careful the way you play them. And so I figured we'd bring the STR one just for the, the multitude of reasons I mentioned already. I think we're going to get lucky here. Yes, perfect. So we drop the tech orbs down. So this is actually going to be a very solid turn. Marseille is still yet to super attack because of that unfortunate first rotation placement. But now he's going to be able to start going off here. Starting off at 2.8. Uh, my Marseille obviously is rainbow full level 10 links. Uh, he has a ton of additional in the hidden potential system because... Ideally, you know, you want him to double super to get those double stacks. Um, how much do we take from a super? Still 83k with type advantage. So definitely the difficulty level in terms of uh, the damage that you take has been turned up for this event. So we want to try and heal back with uh, orbs a little bit here so we can actually get the rosé transformation. Although I could... I could go for a heal, I guess. I could pop like a Princess Snake or something on the next turn. And then that would pretty much guarantee that we get the um, get the transformation. In fact, let me put you in the first slot here. Because we do... I do need him to start taking some hits. Because ideally, I do actually want to transform him into the uh, the fat Janemba. Uh, the skinny Janemba form. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Give everybody a buff. Uh, we'll grab the orbs with you. And then because we couldn't pick up the rainbow orbs, we're obviously going to have... Uh, I'm not sure how much damage this Janemba is going to take. We do have type advantage. And then, of course, we'll do this. Using the item protects the Metal Cooler in the last slot as well. Um, because even with a Princess Snake active, with a super attack, he probably will still take quite a bit of damage. And I want to try and get the Rosé transformation on the next turn. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Didn't need to use the item, but... We got the heal, so then, yeah, there you go. That allows us to get the rosé transformation up in here. So, now at least we can start doing a little bit of extra damage, because, you know, we're not... See, this? these are the kind of turns that scare me, because if we can't get the four type orbs and the two rainbow orbs for Janemba to get his full passive active, I really don't know, like, how much damage he's going to take in the last spot here. Um... So if we do this, how's this going to look on the side here? Alright, well we can get the two rainbows. I think the two rainbows are slightly more important because they at least give you the damage reduction. And of course, after supering, Janemba does raise his defense. Also, I'm not sure how far into the event you stop being able to lower attack. Because Marseille can do that on his super attack. Okay, yeah, so at this point we can't lower attack. But double super, that's what we'd like to see from our boy here. Getting a pretty decent attack stat. Doing some nice damage. Wow, we still take 28k with him. Ooh. So yeah, we are uh, we are building up with our stacking units. But we're still taking quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to be interested to see how much Janemba is going to take here. Uh, my 55% Janemba has a, I think, level 2 additional skill orb. So the possibility is there if the RNG comes through. But... Wow, look at that. <laughs> Just as I was saying about it, I spoke it into existence. I've been doing that a lot lately when uh, doing these runs in the middle of talking about something and then it just happens. So after the double super, obviously he's raised his defense twice. So double defense raise plus damage reduction. Only 34k from the super attack is pretty good. Hello, Pickles. Oh, over here you come. Come sit here with me. Right. Bonus Pickles content. I know everybody always enjoys that, so. <laughs> um, <sighs> Tech Janemba being awkward yet again. Uh, well, I'd rather at least get the four type orbs so we can give everybody the buff. And then we can get the orbs for Tech Vegeta to at least be effective against all types. You do need to get six orbs if you want him to guard. But post super attack, he is very good defensively. Mine is rainbow level 10 links. I pulled the last copy and then like I think two extra ones from uh, this GT Vegeta banner. So Janemba at 2.5. That's pretty decent. Uh, we are raising our defense. So hopefully we don't get smashed up here. Yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. And then 2.5 on Tech Vegeta. I do think the rotation of Tech Vegeta and the STR Martian Vegeta would probably work quite well. 
uh, because you're fighting a Goku family enemy, so obviously the Tech Vegeta is going to be getting his full passive. Ooh, that's a lot of damage from uh, the super attack there. We are going to get a Dokkan attack. Ah, oh, this is actually uh, a little bit disappointing that we're getting the Dokkan attack here. But it works out in our favour because I don't. I, I would be very worried about Metal Cooler taking all those attacks in the final spot there. But now we don't need to worry because the Dokkan attack is going to kill. Marseille has been building up for a little while now. So what's his attack stat looking like? 3.3. Uh, so obviously we're going to kill. Um, hopefully we do some big damage, maybe with a crit, and then that's going to give us a nice full heal here. The friend Janemba, I don't know how many times he's been hit now. The friend Janemba must be getting close to transforming. Because um, I do I do want to transform one of them, even though in the final stage you can't dodge. So I'm not sure, I don't know how that's going to work out. But obviously once, yeah, there we go. Once we get one of the Janembas to transform, we're going to use the STR one as our main defensive unit anyway. I just wanted him to get hit enough times to be able to transform. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll see how this plays out. <laughs> right. Okay, so we do want to try and make sure that we're getting the typing orbs and everything for the other Janemba. So we'll do this. So you need one rainbow orb for the dodge, and you need three type orbs to get extra damage. Hmm. See, so I'd rather get the dodge. I'm not too worried about the damage, because I do want to try and get, if possible... Yeah, see, I wanted to try and get the two rainbow orbs for the other Janemba, so he can at least get his damage reduction. Because that's the most important thing. Like, I... Obviously, having him in the third slot there, ideally I want him to be getting the four type orbs so he can operate as a support unit for the rotation. But as we get further and further in, I do want to make sure that he's taking as little damage as possible. So getting the four type orbs is probably the best idea here. Double super from the STR Janemba is very good. And then Tech Janemba, even without that extra attack buff from getting the uh, three type orbs, got a pretty solid attack stat there. Uh, and double digit damage without the dodge. That's pretty good. And that's without the buff from Detection Ember in slot 3 getting for Type Orb. So that is actually pretty good. Of course, he's the one that takes a super attack. But fortunately, we got the two Rainbow Orbs. So only 80k damage. That's not actually too bad. Alright, so. Perfect setup here because we'll be able to get enough orbs for Vegeta to be not only effective against all types, but also to have the uh, guarding ability active. So, we are going to be all good in this turn. Marseille taking 34k before super attacks, though. That's not what you expect to see in a long-form event like this after you've super attacked multiple times. So, you can really see uh, this extra damage in play. Now, we're down to 13. So, even next turn, if we're still on the Azaru, we're still not at the point of taking double digits unless we super attack again. And then, obviously, Ink Goku Black... He kind of slows the run down a little bit because his defense is going to build up to the point where he should hopefully be taking basically no damage. But because he only stacks defense and not attack, he's obviously not going to be hitting particularly hard. So, god damn, this, the super attacks are relentless. <laughs> 126k, despite the fact that we're guarding as well. That's actually crazy. Alright, so, this works out very nicely here actually because we can get these for you, then we can get the... Full passive for Tech Janemba. And then I think what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and use a Whis. Because this does carry over for two turns. We'll use this to finish pushing through the Azaru phase. Because I don't want to worry about Int Metal Cooler in the final slot. Definitely got to be careful about protecting him against Int Super Saiyan 4. But once we get to the final one, I think we should be okay. We saw in the previous video, we did Battle of Wits first. Um, even the like Int Toa, and I think mine only has like two dupes, um, was still able to not get at least completely destroyed by Tech Full Power Goku. So hopefully um, Metal Cooler is going to be fine as well. I mean, look at this. Whis is like the best damage reduction like defensive item in the game pretty much. And uh, we still take that much damage. So that's actually crazy. All right, Marseille does have more um, defense. So we'll do this. Oh, perfect. We can get all the orbs for Janemba as well. So that gives everybody a little bit of an extra buff. So will this mean double digit damage? Perfect. And then 3.5 on Marseille. Let's go. 
say... Ooh, almost. Hey, there's that level 3 dodge. Save us from double digit damage. It's actually kind of good that he didn't take him out because then at least the Int Rosé can get another stack of his defense. But, I mean, you can see compared to the Battle of Wits one, the team build that we've made for this is obviously made with defense in mind a little bit more. So we are definitely, the, the run is going a lot longer than the, uh, the previous ones. Okay, so, oh, this is going to be tough because we're going to, there's no way really I can play this turn without getting all of these tech orbs for the tech um, Janemba. And then we are going to be at the mercy of how the orbs fall for whether or not we can get six orbs for Marge of Vegeta to be able to be guarding. Because if we can't guard here, I probably will have to use an item. Oh, we can get six orbs. So I think we should be okay. If Tech Janemba doesn't dodge in the middle, though, I have no idea, like, how much damage he's going to take. Because STR Janemba, beast that he is defensively, still taking double-digit damage. So let's go. Um, my STR Janemba is full level 10 links. My Tech one, despite having no dupes, I think he's all level 10 links except one is still at nine. He's still on my link level team. I didn't actually check the friend's link levels because the... Friend Janemba that I picked for this run was the only one I could find that wasn't like 55 or 69%. So, yeah, 21k when he doesn't dodge. That's actually not bad considering we got type disadvantage. So, I will take that. And then, of course, uh, Vegeta here does have his guard activated. Level 3 dodge. Okay, normal attacks. He takes double digit damage as long as the guarding is active. That's actually really, really solid. So, we can go ahead and do this. Uh, 28 versus 23. Because remember, the um, Metal Cooler does give a 40% defensive buff to everybody. So, he's a really good support unit for this team. But I think we are definitely going to have to go ahead and Princess Snake here. Because if Marsen, his defense is very high. But if he gets super attacked in slot 1, that would not be good. And then same with Metal Cooler being super attacked in the final slot, to be fair. So... All right, good. No supers straight away. 3.6 on his attack now with the support from Metal Cooler. We get a crit. No crit. Unfortunately, the problem against this guy is, yeah, look, if you don't crit, you don't do damage. So critting on a normal attack, we did more damage than we did with our super attack. So, but yeah, Rosé uh, around a 2 million attack stat with support. Unfortunately, as we said before, through the course of the video, he's not going to get any higher than that because he doesn't stack attack. But his defense is obviously going to be very solid. I'm a little bit concerned that this Goku hasn't super attacked yet. So, ooh, 34k. So that dodge coming in clutch, actually. Because it's always funny when you dodge, like, an attack that would do double digits. But dodging an attack that's actually going to do some damage is uh, what you really want to be seeing. So, oh, this is going to be super awkward because we're not... I don't think we're going to be able to get the last slot Janemba. Yeah, we can't get any part of his passive to activate here. Oof. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that he is actually going to get absolutely destroyed, but we only have one item left, and I really don't want to use it, like, right now. Hmm. Well, we're on full health. I'm going to... I'm going to just have to see what happens here. Um... Hopefully, if he super attacks, he doesn't super attack the uh, Janemba at the end. Because I think that will just be instant death. But we will have to see. Decent crit from the STR Janemba. He's perfectly fine here defensively. And then 3.1 million for you. As long as we can get a crit, he'll do some nice damage here as well. But man, this tech Janemba in the final slot is making me all kinds of worried now. And he's still not super attacking, but wow, 60k when we don't dodge. Okay, I think we probably die then. Wow, only 9k. Interesting. Because I know big bad bosses would be active, but I guess to be fair, actually, I am forgetting the fact that Janemba does guard in his fat form. So even if even though we didn't get any of the orbs, he technically is guarding, but like, damn. Um... Yeah, we took way less damage than I was expecting. Okay, that's good. Again, we're in the same problem here. I think this is the slight issue with the team build that I've brought here. Is we are getting ourselves into situations where a lot of our units have specific orb requirements. Like the Vegeta on the end needs six orbs to be able to guard, which we couldn't get. So, 
he does raise defense on super attack and his defense is going to be a pretty solid but if he takes a super in that final slot we could potentially die but Mars saying, hey, this is what we like to see. Getting the crit, getting the additional super attack, keeping that stacking going. Can we crit again? Uh, no second crit, but I will definitely take the uh, the extra stack. Because the higher our defense gets as well with Marseille and Int Rosé, the more HP they gain us back when we pick up the same type orbs, which is obviously super, super helpful as well. So, has this Int Goku actually super attacked me yet? He just dodged. This is very reminiscent of STR UI. The more I play this event, the more I feel like... You remember how everybody's original complaint with Extreme Super Battle Road was that they literally just took the old Super Battle Road and turned all the numbers up. But other than that, it was exactly the same. I feel like that is exactly what they've done with this because STR UI Goku had the ability to dodge, but it wasn't as frequent because we have only seen him dodge one time here so far. And also, I feel like STR UI didn't super attack as much. Um, this is going to be awkward because we can't get the dodge for Janemba. So if we don't crit on the tech Janemba here, he's going to take quite a lot of damage. If we Okay, he finally super attacks me. Can STR Janemba dodge? He does not dodge. 100k still, wow. Between the two of them, they could finish him off here, but... If the STR one doesn't, the Int one is going to need to crit. Oh, actually, maybe he doesn't even need to crit now. Big crit from the STR one definitely helped us out here. <clears throat> Come on, finish him off. Oh, we get the crit for good measure. Perfect. 2.3 mil. All right, so final stage. Now this is where we're going to be looking good because we are a team very much comprised of uh, Int units at this point. And uh, Rosé's up to 260k, Marseille up to 300. So, I will actually go ahead and put him in slot 1 just because, um, you know, in case we get a super attack, we might as well have type advantage in the first slot. And then <clears throat> we'll do this because that allows us to get full Janemba passive. There you go. These are the turns that we want to see. Full Janemba passive, giving everybody the buff. He did super attack straight away. So, I think Marseille's defense is high enough that we would have been fine. We wouldn't have died. But, I mean, if Int Rosé taking 130k with the defense that he had plus type advantage, it uh, definitely shows you how hard this Goku hits when he supers. Because normal attacks, we should be all good here for both Rosé and Marseillean. Um, Janemba, we did get the two rainbow orbs and we are super attacking first. So, he should be okay. I think, honestly, this one really shows that, like, the difficulty of this if you don't have Janemba is pretty insanely high because the only team build that I thought of before recording, like when I made that team building guide video, you could use double tech Vegetas to make a resurrected warriors team. But I think you have to, to make them all corroded body and mind, the only way to fill out the team was you had to use two of those free to play metal coolers. And after having played through this event now, this is the second time. Uh, I feel like that probably isn't the best idea, huh? Because... Uh, you are uh, you are going to take a lot of damage on those boys. So, we'll do this. We are going to get the Dokkan attack fairly soon. So, I think we are going to have to go ahead and Whis here. Because this keeps us protected for the next two turns. Leading up towards the Dokkan attack. Because I don't think we're going to get it next turn. Unless we pick up same type walls with everybody, maybe we can push it. So, I will try. We'll try and get the Dokkan attack next turn with Marseillean. Because with the Whis active, it doesn't really matter who we put in slot 1 now. Uh, no one's going to take any damage here. And uh, 3.6 on the friend Janemba is pretty solid. If you can find a rainbow Janemba friend, that definitely is going to help this uh, pretty massively. But yeah, I feel like if you don't have your own tech Janemba, this definitely becomes a lot more difficult. But we will see. I mean, we've used all four items with this team. And I thought going into this, this was a pretty solid team build for this. And uh, we are taking quite a lot of damage. We got the uh, buffs from Metal Cooler here. So this is good. Okay, a nice bit of HP. I think actually we should be pushing the Dokkan attack here. All right, let's go. Marseille has been building up for quite some time now. So we've got support on rotation as well. Uh, he's just shy of a 4 million attack stat. So if we can get a crit here, this is going to be the big damage on this uh, Dokkan attack. 
Because Rosé just doesn't really do enough damage. Even with the type advantage, it feels like a massive waste to be giving the Dokon attack to him. So, let's see. Hopefully, we can get the crit here. Come on, Marseille. My boy. My channel mascot. Let's go. Eh, 2.7. But we get the additional super as well and go up to a 4 million attack stat. So, this is going to do... Another just over 1 million. So pretty solid damage overall. And then of course the Whis effect is going to be done after this turn. But the Dokon attack should put us back up to full HP. So we should be in a very good position going forwards. At least we don't have to worry. I was thinking about it last turn. I made sure I got the Rainbow Orb for Tech Janemba. But we don't need to worry about that anymore. Because we can't dodge against uh, Tech Full Power Goku. So... Okay, so we are getting close. I feel like this probably won't be the final turn. Um, I need to try and make sure I'm getting the four typing orbs for Fat Janemba. So those will do because I do want to get the uh, damage mitigation as well. So there we go. Perfect. Gives everybody the little bit of a buff. Damage reduction plus he guards. So he should be okay in the final slot without an item active here. Because he's super, he's super attacking first and the two rainbow orbs is the most important. Because guarding plus damage reduction is always good. And then of course the uh, super attacking first to raise your defense. We've got the four type orbs so his defense is even higher before super attacking. So he should be all good. I'm actually a little bit impressed. So we've seen during this video the struggles that Janemba can bring you when you can't pick up the orbs. But I've been quite impressed with the 55% uh, fat Janemba. As long as you do get the damage reduction orbs and you're super attacking first. He hasn't been taking too much damage. I'm a bit worried about this though. Oh, 92. That's actually pretty good. And then double digits. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So as long as you're getting the rainbow orbs with the damage reduction... Um, he is actually holding his own pretty well, which is good. Alright, so we'll do this. Grab the same type orbs for the heals. I can't get six orbs with... Uh... Oh no, what have I done? That's not the way I meant for the rotation to go. I don't, I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> I moved him too quickly and he ended up in the wrong slot. <laughs> Oof. This could be a little bit awkward. <laughs> so this is uh, this is not how I planned for this turn to go. But we don't be doing that resetting the app business over here. So uh, hopefully this doesn't cost me the run. <laughs> I mean, if you're seeing this video, then obviously it didn't. But oof, that was uh, that was quite the misplay. Well, actually, as long as he doesn't get super, that's actually not bad. Okay, we take those. So, I mean, I did ideally want Vegeta on rotation with Marseille and when I first built the team. I only decided to switch him out for the Rosé because I thought he would be a bit more consistent. But Vegeta definitely holds his own, so that is actually good. Because we didn't get the orbs to be guarding and he still didn't really take very much damage with no support on the rotation. So, I am actually very pleased with that. So we'll go ahead, grab same type orbs here to top us back up to as close to full HP as we can get. And then STR Janemba should deliver the finishing blow. Of course he has to super attack me in the first slot before he goes down as a petty act of revenge. But 172k. Alright, well eat this 3.7 million super attack from STR Janemba and go to sleep. So there you go, that is the Corroded Body and Mind mission beaten for uh, the GT Legendary Goku event. Definitely a bit of a longer run. I kind of knew going into it, taking in Goku Black as one of our main rotation units, that that was going to be the case. We had to use all of our items, so I definitely think this one could be a struggle for people who don't have Janemba, because honestly, I don't even really have great ideas for how you would build the team without him. Because the idea that I had previously, I honestly don't think that would even work now, considering the difficulty level of this event. So we did our Corroded Body and Mind mission. We get five tickets. I don't know how many I had left over from the previous video. Do we have enough to do a summon at the end of this one? We do. So let's jump in and do one more multi here. If we're getting five per time, then we should have enough uh, after each one. So can we get something good this time? Lone Warrior Goku. Previously, we didn't get a single SSR off of the two multis that we did after the Battle of Wits run. So can we get one here? It remains to be seen. I've already seen multiple screenshots of people pulling LRs, including someone on JP that got double Int God Goku in their Moi, which is pretty crazy. 
And uh, we are just left here with a bunch of SR Goku's. But there you go. That is the Corroded Body and Mine mission done. Have you done this one? Let us know down below what your team build was. Definitely going to be tricky if you don't have Janemba. But hopefully you guys are able to make it through. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.